Um, we'll talk a little bit about the stuff we do, Haley and I, working with Dr. Soulbusters are working in a youth cooperative. And then we just sort of open it up for discussion and talk about what everyone's doing and this game ball. Give it up. Hi. I'm a youth organizer for the Environmental Justice League. Um, as soon as I find where there it is. Okay. Um, where's the little thing at? Okay. Um, 
So basically, are you going to do this thing? Yeah. Um, basically, um, this is based off of a bus project that we're doing, um, and it's converting a uh, airport shuttle bus to run on vegetable oil. And so the um, the campaign's um, logo is, uh, this program is powered by youth run on vegetable oil. Um, Um, we have chances, um, well after we get it fully converted, we want to be able to um, go around and teach people about alternative energy, climate change, um, asthma, air pollution, um, oil production, going into like a bunch of different topics where we could teach um, people about different issues. And so this is one of the workshops that is based on air pollution and how bad diesel is for the community. Um, we. Oh, I just like lost myself. After after we can, after um all that time when the bus isn't being used by us to go to different conferences to better ourselves and go to different places, we want it to be a community resource where people in the community can use it and um use the bus to go places or just to have fun on it. Um and basically there's like so many aspects to the bus project. There's um hold on, did you go back? Did you pass the Do you want to do a stand up for that? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So the bus is outside right now today. Yeah. Painted. Uh, we had a thing a couple Saturdays ago. How many Saturdays? Like, like two, two Saturdays. Two Saturdays ago. Well, yeah. And uh, the like bef the week before that, we outlined our logo, which has who said, it's powered by youth run on veggie oil. We had like this cool. We had like the PDRs come help us, and then two Saturdays ago, we brought it to like this festival in Providence, downtown Providence, and um, like we had other graffiti artists just go whatever they wanted to do, but it actually looks cool. Like they made like a, a river of um, vegetable oil and like carrots coming out, so it's outside right now. And so part of the um, part of getting the bus converted, we want to be able to um, teach people of how um, the diesel how diesel is bad and how vegetable oil is better for the bus. Um, not for the rest of, but for the environment. Um, and so we take them, like we try to teach them exactly what we had to do, like inserting another tank or um, which, um, getting filters for the oil um, and how it goes into the engine and how it affects it if we let it coagulate or if we, um, so making sure that um, we show people that we know how to use it and making sure that if they want to do it, they know how to use it too. Um, I lost myself in within this presentation um, for the stand up sit down, um, which is an activity that Carissa. Is All right, so do. Uh, we like to also because we show this workshop to like <coughs> high schools and like youth programs and stuff, so we like to make it interactive because we don't want to sit there and listen to people talk all day. So we have an activity called stand up sit down, and you're gonna have to stand up and sit down <laughs> when I ask you the question. Okay. So if I ask you a question and uh, you agree with it, or it happens to you, or it happens in your life, you gotta stand up, and if it doesn't, just stay sitting down. Okay, the first thing is, I have asthma, so if you have asthma, stand up. And I'm sitting, because I don't have asthma. Okay, you can sit down now. Um, someone in my family has asthma. Standing, someone in my family has asthma. <laughs> um, someone I know has asthma. I live near a highway, factory, auto shop, or industrial site. Oh man. I'm not sure. I definitely do. Definitely. I'm trying to think like I live near I think I, I live mean, near what's, all of those. Maybe what is near? I don't think you can say Mr. Profit proper here. Yeah, I think you can do that. Yeah, he lives in Mr. Yeah. I have smelled pollution where I live, work I mean play, work, or go to school. Is that? Nasty. <laughs> yeah, nasty. Yeah. So like when that happens, it's usually like a huge crowd of like an auditorium of kids or whatever. So you the kids are looking around like, oh my gosh, it just happened. So yeah. And it's basically just making sure that um the people know that it's not something that just happens to them and it happens to everyone and making sure that they can see it like when 
when it's a group and all that, you see like your peers getting up, you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so like it like makes a stronger, um, what do you call it? I forget it. Bond? Not bond, but like more of a push to, to oh. make it to make a change just because they see that it's not just them getting affected. Um, and then yeah, I think we're done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.